I was a Dutch Calvinist pastor and luckily got a fellowship to the University of Notre Dame. Going down there in 1999, I encountered really well-formed Catholics for the first time in my life. And my good Catholic friend that I made and, and developed that friendship there at the University of Notre Dame, he got me to read the Apostolic Fathers. These are the earliest fathers of the church, men like Clement of Rome and St. Ignatius of Antioch. Oh my goodness, when I began to read them, how my life was impacted. Uh, when I began, I, I, was, I went into reading the Apostolic Fathers convinced that they were going to show that the early church was Calvinist, which was, of course, my theological background. Uh, they let me down in a big way in terms of that, but what they showed me instead was so beautiful, the fullness of truth in the Catholic faith. Reading St. Ignatius of Anik, I realized that the way that he interpreted the scriptures was not the way that Protestants approached them. I saw that St. Ignatius, for example, took the Lord's words in earnest when the Lord spoke of the Eucharist being his very body and blood. And this was a literal interpretation that I, as a Protestant, never took, even though I prided myself on being you know, a literal interpreter of Scripture. And so soaking myself in the earliest of the Church Fathers, uh, I realized that I needed to become Catholic myself, and that brought me into the church. And February 21st, 2001, my confirmation, 18 months after reading the Church Fathers and observing how they interpreted the scriptures. The St. Paul Center has a fantastic new product in the Journey Through Scripture series called The Bible and the Church Fathers. This is a series that you're gonna to want to participate in, that you're gonna to wanna to get, that you're gonna to wanna to enjoy because it takes you into the fathers, introduces you to them, who they are, and then especially how they interacted with the Bible. Their biblical interpretation is something that is going to be more caught than taught. You're gonna, you're gonna see by example um, how they approach God's word and then how they apply it to their own lives and the lives of the church. And not only is this going to deepen your life of prayer, and that's our primary goal, but as a side benefit, you're also going to learn how to defend your Catholic faith on certain issues and certain questions among you know, the, the non-Catholic environment that we live in in this country. And by taking you back to the earliest pastors of the church, you're gonna be able to see that continuity from the apostles and the Lord's teaching to what develops later. And you're going to be able to defend that movement into the Catholic Church as we know her today. So I really encourage you to get this series, The Bible and the Church Fathers. It's going to delight you. It's going to deepen your life of prayer. It's going to help you to, to, to know and to defend your faith. Uh, I can't praise more highly the benefits that this series is really going to have to so many people. The Bible and the Church Fathers from the St. Paul Center.